Hey everyone, Theme Park DNA here. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Fallen LE. I recently had another large mystery box order, and this came as a, a mystery box. It was a $75 mystery box, and the, the last time I had a large mystery box order, I got two sound savers. I was really, really happy with the two sound savers, and they were both Obsidian Light soundboards, um, and I was just thrilled to get two, and so this this time around, I ordered another, but they were still having the Frankensaber promotion, and I really, really liked my first Frankensaber. I wanted another one. So we had a, a second mystery box order during the Frankensaber promotion, and this came, I only had one Sound Saber, which I was a little disappointed with at first, but then I found out that this one is an Obsidian um, V4 soundboard, and so I was, um, I've really grown to like it, um, and I really, really like this hilt. So let's, um, let's dive in. So this hilt is right at 16 inches long, and a hair over an inch and a half wide here at the, the grip section of the, the hilt. From the bottom, we've got this um, really nice pommel, and everyone talks about how good this saber sounds, and they're right. This, this pommel almost is like a resonance chamber, um, just so you can hear for yourself. Well, Um, looks like it's a hot peak blade. As a mystery saber, this came. There we go. There's a mute function. So, got the blade on with the mute function on, which is an awesome feature of the V4. Got mute, so now I can have the blade on and I don't have to talk over the, the lightsaber. So, moving up from the pommel, of course, because this is the LE version, we've got this gold anodized colorization. Got a CoverTech wheel matched to the same color, recharge port. We have a silver non-illuminated AV switch. Of course, we've got more of the gold anodized in the grooves. Looks great. Horizontal emitter windows, front and back, and these just great shrouds. So, as a mystery box, I didn't pick anything on this lightsaber, and I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I don't know if the gold and the, the hot pink is what I would have chosen, but... It's awesome for a $75 mystery box. So, as you saw earlier, I've got um, the Adigan Silver Flash on Clash. And everyone talks about how light this lightsaber is, and I did not appreciate how well it handles until I got my hands on it. This thing is amazing. At 16 inches, you would think it would be difficult to handle and if you've seen my my second Frankensaber review then you'll be familiar with this one this is 13 inches and this is 16 inches and this is considerably lighter so I priced this saber 
on the Ultra Sabers website exactly as it is. Battery configuration with the recharge port, but without the charger. And this Saber is priced at $396. That's awesome. So I'm really excited about this Saber. Um, a lot of people have talked about how it is not as screen accurate as some of the other Cal Kestis Fallen Order style lightsabers. And they're right, it's not. Um, Saber Forge and a couple of others are more screen accurate. But I gotta say, I don't care. This thing is outstanding. It, it looks great. It feels great. Um, and it handles beautifully. You, you just, it's hard to just imagine a 16 inch hilt moving around in your hand so easily, but it does. Um, some people have com complained about this little faux control box being sharp. It is a little bit, but if you keep your hand in the right place, it hasn't bothered me. And this grip is amazing. It does its job perfectly. If you can't, I'm sure you can tell. Let's see if the camera picks that up. You've got a grenade style cross hatching here inside of the grip section of the hilt. And it is just about perfect. It, none of it's sharp, it, none of it's gonna catch anything. It doesn't feel rough on the hand but it's got just of enough of a grip to where it's not going anywhere. You've got solid purchase on this thing uh, as you're <laughs> flailing to your heart's content. I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Fallen, whether you like this version, whether you like someone else's version. I wanna know what you have to say. If you haven't subscribed, we appreciate a subscription. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. If you like this video, let us know. Give it, smash that thumbs up button. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching.